<laughs> Hello, still Thanksgiving Day. <laughs> like, what am I doing? I'm having, this is like a really small plate. Can I see it? The sun's coming in that way. I'm going to turn it this way. Uh -huh. There you go. You can see. Here we have right now like the stuffing. It's made out of like wheat bread. There's the turkey, Brussels, some Brussels sprouts, mashed potatoes, cranberry, and turkey. Well, it, <clears throat> I I guess like they're saying Trump is at in Florida and a lot and whatever. He's trying to say that was like the mulatto. I don't know how you say it, but that place in Florida is his um winter place, winter White House. When everybody knows that if you're away from the White House, it's um. Camp um David, but I think what's funny about Trump in the last two weeks is that when he went to France, I think that he knew that uh Putin was supposed to show up and um I don't think the Secret Service allow him to see Putin because of what happened with Kim Jong-un and how they were able to do one of those Brussels sprouts, how they were able to do a propaganda video. And it showed America with a very, very weak, psychotic, like, he, you know, um, in Mississippi they did a study with syphilis and um, one of the things you find with this disease is that it goes through stages and one of the last stages is like dementia um, because let's just see um, it's like a parasite like a, 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 a insect, um, close to a tick or worm or um, that it's a that it's a, a live um, entity. You got bacteria and you have viruses, right? And a lot of parasites is the real issue. The turkey. Yeah. And so, like with syphilis, it goes to the different stages. And you can live with it for 50 years because it's very important. You have to understand, the parasite, notoriously, there's some cranberry, um, was a skin born, but because, like, um, the American Indians, Asians, wasn't so much in their close contact is their their um their 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 bathing their and um a better understanding that they were mammals and that they are animals that made them have a better understanding where the European um were like with leeches and cutting people open and bleeding them and dying of secondary infections. But anyway, if we think about what's going on now with Trump and his children, his children 
or generations of what, like, in America, a lot of privileged, racist white people, the thing with them is they cheated and, you know, like, their special privilege is, like, maybe getting passed on just because they're white once, you know, they get out of school. Nobody's going to know. Um, And think about them. And that's the problem with American schooling. And that's sort of the reason why our school system can have somebody like Trump. And to have, well, it's embarrassing right now. And I think Europe, France, Germany, Britain, and, and other countries in the UK are the original um, people of this racist, narcissistic, passive, aggressive type of behavior that propaganda enforces. It reminds me of um, Anne Floyd. Supposedly Anne Floyd's girlfriend had two kids, a boy and a girl. And they they did this um, whooping and overly sex, sexually abused uh, from like before they were five, they started for it to be an imprint that this is more normal. And they, one of the things, you know, every, um, you know, they wanted to have a sexual revolution. If you think about when the Bills came, they had the white album, the white revolution, or whatever. And because they were taking black music from the South, gospel music from the South, y'all were making tons of money by playing all over the South, even the Midwest, and the North, sort of like Aretha Franklin and her father and family did, and, um, Mahalia Jackson and um, Rosanna. Um, but anyway, um, even though it was gospel music, it was upbeat, close to you know rock and roll, pop music type, R and B, and even what modern country people call today that they would call more of a jazz and blues. So, fast forward to now. Let me go get my drink. Fast forward to 2018 and we now have Trump in the office. Trump Basically, he's just was a criminal, and he was one criminal at a very young age. Got introduced to the uh, to Russians, probably from coming from Queens, coming in, uh, in my neighborhood, Hell's Kitchen. And these Russians, basically, you might call them, or they call themselves Indian slave because they saw capitalism. Is a is a, capitalism another word for slavery, in the sense that that um, Caucasians came over to this land, invaded this land, they took over this land, and now it costs you money to live on this land. You have to work uh, to make money to like. Well, their whole thing is um, to control the population, um, to survival. 
instincts in you is for um, clothing, you know, um, shelter and food. Well, that's what they want to provide totally, you know. So no longer is there animals roaming or people to hunt. The number one reason for jail in the pink contempt not only to slaughter American Indians, I'll say like we got American um, or Chinese, the Chinese immigrants that was here in Allen Hop from the Asian continents, uh, probably before the white men came along. Not only, they say they only came through like from a Russia to the Barren Strikes or whatever, but just like um, the Europeans had boats, um, they weren't the first people. And Caucasian, you know, we'll let you know about the Vikings with the boats. So, people, before they ate a lot of mammals like we do today, pigs and cows and etc., um, it was mostly fish. But anyway, um, so a lot of times when um, you take one of those DNA tests or whatever to see if you it's um, American Indian, it's also it's the Asian two part. You know, like it's either Asian or American Indian or American Indian. Indians have a lot of Asian DNA. But you really don't delve into it. And it was the Pinkerton, which is, was a, turned into a private investigation girl, um, that were assassinates that worked like, for the government, whatever. And they went around as people that was hired to kill the um, Chinese on the American Railroad. But as you could see with the um, Chinatown and stuff like that in um, California and different places along that coastline, is that um, they didn't kill all the Asians. And then you could see in World War II where they had the Japanese, also Asian group, that was um, they basically put in concentration camps. And... Um, And the main reason is, well, I don't know, um, there's, there's a big problem in the United States now because a lot of Chinese and other foreign influence I bought a lot of real estate, especially in New York, China, Japan, etc. Um, bought a lot of property in Manhattan, and a, a lot of our business that are on the open market, that like McDonald's, Kentucky Fried Chicken, that are franchised, are are owned not owned by Americans anymore, and so. And the dollar bill has been backed by oil either since, um, I want to say 73, either through um, Nixon or Reagan. Well, Reaganomics was another blow financially. And if you look at Reagan, he was an actor, and he had Asian, like, to me, a lot of Asians, they will, like, look white if they're mixed, but he looked very Asian to me, mixed, and Nixon, um, I think a lot of, well, anyway, they changed over from the dollar bill being backed by gold to it being backed by oil. 
in gas. And the problem with oil and gas, one of the main reasons they're fracking, is that there's just so much that the earth has and then it doesn't have anymore. And we have gone over the, the amount to now we're around on the decline. So the dollar has declined. And ever since, like, I'm, I'm old enough to know that I used to be able to buy a Coca-Cola for five cents, you know. You could get a pack of cigarettes, you know, for ten cents. Now cigarettes are five, six in some places, ten or even more, whatever. I'm trying to stop you from smoking. And um, the it's because the dollar has deflated. Because it's no longer backed on gold because there's only so much gold in the world. And somewhere during Vietnam, the rest of the uh, world was able to prove that we was printing out more money than we had gold currency. So to stop the run on the bank, uh, I guess uh, uh, Nixon and Reagan sort of got together uh, uh, along with the federal um, um, rural that was part of the... Um, Well, the money is in the federal building or right across, but it's the 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 um the mint. So it's like sort of strange. But anyway, they got together, and what they concocted up was a way to um you know have the money go behind the oil and gas. Now in the Middle East, for a simple fact, just to keep more control of them, they have depleted the woman's value there by, you know, saying men. Well, you know, you have to understand the Bible is like the Muslims, the Catholics, and everybody goes by the same book. And the book basically is a way that they use to keep, um, Women, um, socially down. Women don't, like in the United States, we really don't have as many women that breed or in your, I mean, breastfeed. So then you have a bond that's disconnected. Important bond for the kids. IQ. But anyway, that's enough. How long have I been on here? Oh, I'm getting off. But, um, with the oppression, and like a lot of this, you can see during World War One, you know, um, with the with the the arrangements that they made and the propaganda that goes down to oppress women even farther, because they they had been doing this for a while. Because if like the Middle East and the Arabs, the children respected the women in the proper sense. Of not seeing them as a secondary or a third or fourth, you know, um, to the to the male, um, uh, and having a father that's more interactive because if he has four women, it's really the children that suffer from the time, you know, because like if you could have like five kids here, you know, even if you just have two or three there. Uh, that's a lot of uh, children, and uh, children, all of them need a certain amount of nurturing. And if you're faithful with one woman, and you're you you'll be in that household and interact during like maybe you know you know, victory garden or whatever with that child more. Even if there's a big amount of children, you have more interaction. Anyway, I'm out of here. Happy Thanksgiving again. And while you're, you're at it, like, uh, um, is capitalism um, failing our society? Um, has Trump and his type of um, uh, 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 double talking, lying, and sort of like uh, anti constitution uh, sort of put a a different light on where we're at and what are we? Are we just parasites that will not be here in the next 10 years because 
we won't be able to drink or breathe the air because of the stupidity greed and you know let's face it uh, 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 a lot of these people people that are that actually have the money Trump still getting a paycheck okay no matter you know he, you, you're not a master never mind I'm out of here